فيتبعون احسن اقول ما اسمعون واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه من كل ذنب انه هو الغفور الرحيم. The only one who deserves to be worshipped. We send our greetings and blessing and salutation upon his prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the one who conveyed a message and the one who guided us and warned us to do the good and avoid the evil. His family and his companions and those that follow in his footsteps. Be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa taala and do not sin. In so many verses in the Quran, showed us not to be. Sinners in the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today's topic is the day of Arafah. It's ruling and it's virtues. Virtues ruling is takbir in the day in the sacrifice and the slaughter on the day of Arafah. Today, as believers, we still have the blessing of these 10 days of the Hijjah, which is today the 9th, and tomorrow is the 10th. These are the best days of the year. And today is the greatest day, which is Arafah, which is the great pillar of the day of Hajj. Where are the, they stand on the Mount of Arafah. And also the sins are eradicated. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this day frees nicks from hellfire. And he forgives people. As narrated about the Prophet. And the best of the actions are to be done on these days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look upon the people on Mount of Arafah and he will grant them whatever they wish and ask for. And fasting this day is Sunnah. As it was narrated by the Prophet ﷺ, he said, Allah will forgive your sins of the past year, in the following year, the reward for fasting this day. Making takbir for women, for men, for women, and for men. Women are not to make loud. And children, after every compulsory salat, whether you do it in congregation or you pray by yourself, alone. It starts from the fajr, salah of today, and it ends the last day of the days of the tashrif. And the Sahaba used to do takbir and it's mandatory or recommended. And we are celebrating the second biggest holiday of the Muslims. Some of the things we should do is we so, we're supposed to pray the Eid, which is as the Prophet ﷺ did in the Sahaba, and dress the best of dress you can have. And for the ladies not to put any sin or dress any provocative and have the Muslim clothes when they come to the Eid. And you should not eat anything until after Salat al-Fajr, until you come back from Salat al-Eid. And you make takbir loud, as the Sheikh mentioned, and not for the women. You keep making takbir until the Imam comes, and then you start the Salat the eid for the Salat. And it was recommended that you walk from a different route. You go and you come back from a different route. It was convenient for you. And you raise your hands while you make it eid Salat takbir. And you sit down and you listen to the eid khutbah. And you do not make any noise and you make yourself busy, even if you sit down and you, and you start playing with your phone. And then you greet everyone from your relatives and friends, and the best of your friends, with the best of greetings, as recommended. And we will start from the Prophet and we say, Taqabbal Allah, may Allah accept from us and you. Fasting the day of Eid is prohibited, which is tomorrow. As for the following days of Eid, if you regularly fast, then it's accepted. And then sacrifice. It is from the most important rituals of Eid that brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where the Prophet ﷺ did sacrifice, so is Ibrahim alayhi salam, so is the Sahaba. Even it was recommended as a sunnah, and a lot of us don't do it, so do sacrifice for the Eid and revive the sunnah, make it alive. In the rulings for sacrifice, it must be a camel that would feed seven people, or a cow, the same thing. A lamb, a goat, male or female. If you slaughter a whole sacrifice, it is enough for the whole family. As mentioned, it was a cabin for seven people. As long as they live in the same house. But if they live in different apartments, then it's not the same sacrifice. In the time of the sacrifice starts in the morning of the Eid, after the Salah finished. And for those who live where there is no Salah established, they should wait, as the Sheikh said, until the sun rises one arm span or one arrow span. Or the time of the speech of the Salah, then they should start their their um, on sacrifice. And the Tashrif days are the days as agreed by the scholars. Some say they're 11, 12, and 13, and some say 10, 11, and 12. And these days is for you to enjoy and celebrate. 
and eat and drink and visit your relatives and make your kids happy in this day and show them the traditional, the Islamic or the religion of Islam and how we enjoy our holidays. We only have two holidays that we're supposed to teach our future generations. The sunnah of sacrifice and must not have any defect, malnutrition, any sign of abuse, and it should not be blind or one eye, or sick, or limping, or missing one leg, or one arm, or paralyzed, or meager, or the ears cut off, or missing one ear, or missing any parts, or teeth, or one teeth, or have scabies, or missing a horn, or broken horn, or castrated, or any physical defect that you can see showing, stamped, or cut, or marks, or scrapes, because you are making the sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The scholars recommend that you donate one third, and you eat one third, and you eat one third, and the sheikh said if you donate the whole thing, it's better, especially for non-Muslims and your neighbors, and you show them what Muslims are. And it said it's preferred that the sacrifice should have some fat in it. And from the sunnah and the slaughter with the sacrifice by killing it, you make your face the qibla, and then you unbake the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you walk on it, you say bismillah, and you make takbir, and then you say from you to you. And as the Sahaba did, and the Prophet did, and it was narrated that he slaughtered two lambs himself. And the Eid Salah would be eight, eight o'clock in the morning in this masjid. And also, as I mentioned before, the Sheikh did not do this, we need to bring our kids to the masjid. And every time we come to the masjid, especially these days, in this Eid, in these holidays, because our kids are the ones that's gonna keep this masjid burning after us. Our lifespan is not that long. So if we don't teach them how to carry this religion and teach them how Islam is, as they are being stripped off in this country from Islam, and we are responsible. We must teach our kids so they are the ones who are gonna continue. And don't forget your brothers all over the world in this holiday, they need your prayers. ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده ربنا لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وبعد أيها الناس أخيرا إن لهذا العيد وهذه الأيام ذكريات على هذه الأمة نتذكرها وتستوقفنا يستوقفنا الخليل إبراهيم حين رأى الرؤيا والرؤيا الأنبياء وحي أن يذبح ولده ولذلك شرعت هذه من سنته أن يضحي الناس إلى قيام الساعة وأصبحت نهجا وفيها من الدروس والفوائد العظيمة أولا يطعم الفقراء ويعيشون أياما متساوين مع الأغنياء البيوت ممتلئة باللحم هكذا يريد الإسلام منه هكذا شرعت هذه الأمور بكل شرع تجد له حكمة يا إخي حتى تترابط المجتمعات هذه الأيام أيام العيد هي أيام التكافل بالنسبة للمسلمين أن تتفقد البيوت الفقيرة لذلك كان من هذه صلى الله عليه وسلم أن يقول أغنوهم في هذا اليوم أي في يوم العيد أغنوهم أي أغنوهم عن السؤال 